morning guys Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care and today is June 15 2021 it's currently 7 35 a.m. and it's uh, about 74 degrees and it is uh, forecasted to be 105 our heat indexed it's supposed to be 105 which is normal for us during the uh, summertime. Remove this blower out of the way. And by the way, I will be making a video on this blower. Letting you guys know, as of right now, it lasts the whole day. Yep, but this is not what this video is all about. This video is about, we are going to surprise this service member with a free service. And currently we are mowing this property on a weekly basis. Um, it is non-fertilized, non-irrigated, and the uh, service member just came back from deployment. And this is the same property that um, due to certain circumstances, we uh, not really neglected, but we didn't service it for about six months, but we're getting it back into shape now. So what's going to happen is, once this invoice goes out today, it's going to say, it's going to say paid for, you know, courtesy of Blaze Grass Launcher, just, just for, you know, saying thank you for all that you do. You know, as a former uh, military personnel, you know, I served 25 and a half years, and let me tell you guys, every little bit uh, counts. You know, I've had people um, just, you know, pass by and say thank you for your service. You know, that's greatly appreciated. We've had uh, people pay for our meals at lunch and things like that. Again, guys, you know, it's, uh, it's rewarding, you know, to just say thank you to the men and women in all branches that put their life on the line for us. You know what I mean? So this service is going to, is going to be a free service, and who knows? I may I may make the first service of each month free to the service member. But we are we've we've done this before, just you know one here and there. Um, we've done it for uh, for teachers. We've done it for firefighters, um, nurses, and. It doesn't happen all the time, guys, because, again, we don't know what our customers do. <laughs> Just, you know, a lot of times we know that we have service members because they let us know, hey, listen, we're leaving a deployment. And um, as a courtesy, I let them know, hey, listen, I'm a former service member, and I have your email, and if anything looks fishy, whatever the case might be, I'll keep an eye out for you. But they usually have somebody that comes by once a month or once a week and check on their property so all right so anytime i go in the back i lock my trailer you know guys remember always lock your trailer man and then same time make sure that your uh, truck is locked as well so i just finished edging with the stick edger blade edger and Again, it depends on how I feel that particular day as to what I'm using. You know, sometimes I hit it with the string trimmer, um, weed whacker, um, and sometimes I'll hit it with the blade edge. Again, there's no real preference. So, right now we have the Dewalt X548 um, as a loaner from Dewalt. And, and I made I made a couple of videos on this, you know, one of them was kind of just talking about what it has to offer and the next one was a, uh, a review of uh, 16 hours on it. But uh, this this is a little tank, man. Awesome, awesome little mower. Um, the only thing that I would change um, if I were to acquire, purchase this mower is I would put a 
shoe blocker. You know, for small properties like this, guys, especially this is a 48 inch anyway, I like to have a shoe blocker, which minimizes the, the debris in the plant bed and things like that. So no big deal. So currently I'm mowing this property at a height of 2.25 and the goal is 2.50, which is, you know, two and a half. And this is currently centipede grass. Um, like I said before, it's, it's non-irrigated and it's non-fertilized. And we are mowing it on a weekly basis. And with all the rain that we've been getting on, I'm sure you guys have been getting a lot of rain too. This property is gonna um, is gonna just start turning green here in the field. It's getting there little by little. So right here in the middle, there used to be a, a tree. So I'll have to kind of go around this thing and not to ride over it and scalp it. So guys, let me know um, if you like these type of POV videos. Um, you know, it shows you exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. And uh, as you can tell, you see it's a little bit wet, right? Yeah, it shows you exactly uh, every little detail that I'm doing. And I'm, I'm going to try to film these uh, just continuously, you know? Don't have any breaks or anything in between and just kind of talk over it and letting you know why I do what I'm doing and hopefully you know you can gain a little bit of tips here and there yeah but you see how these houses are so close together and you can see that right there They're here in the south man they build properties just just crazy crazy all right so we are going in the back now and I'm going to bring the deck down to two inches um, and that's only because I just want to make this a little bit lower and again here for some reason and when I say here I'm talking about in the south well my customers anyway I'm not sure of you guys customers but <clears throat> customers love to tr uh, cut their backyards lower than their front and I asked and you know say hey, you know how come you know you're cutting the backyard again I'm, I'm I'm from New York you know I'm, I'm in a military transplant and I decided to build a house here so but let's keep it moving um, so I asked the customer why um, you know why you cut the, the back why you want to cut the back cuts at a lower height and the customer basically said that um, snakes um, <laughs> they're trying to I guess you know where they can see the snake or you know whatever the case might be and I you know it, it makes sense in a way you know if you have kids and the toys and stuff like that or if you have dogs I, you know I can see I can see the reasoning for that <clears throat> so yeah so here I'm only going back and forth and um, just making everything nice, even, making it look presentable. And believe it or not, that's that's so much grass and weeds. Oh, doing a growing season within one week, huh? So imagine if this thing was fertilized and it was irrigated. But yeah. Like I said before, this this machine, guys, the uh, the Wild X548, is is a little tank. I, I like it. I like it. There's some little things here and there that you know I don't like about it. But again, like I said before, guys, hey, to each his own. You know what I mean? It's it's like having a car, but you know, there's one little thing that you don't like about it, but you like the car, and the car drives well. The same the same effect here. So my goal is to use the heck out of this mower until the walk calls me and say, 
you want to mow that. So. <laughs> but like I said before, guys, you keep that blade sharp, no issues. Now, this is all in real time, guys. So, this is the sequence that, on average, I do. You notice that I took the key out with me, right? Now, because I'm string trimming and I will be in the back, um, you know, I I can hear a mower go off if somebody was to jump up and grab the mower. But again, you know, you have to have a key and all that good stuff, and you know, just just a little bit of precaution. <clears throat> so now. I am going to grab the string trimmer. And there's two different string trimmers that I have. And this one here is the uh, 520 ILX by Husqvarna. And the battery is a BLI 300 battery and on average guys I get six or seven houses from one battery okay now I've been using stick equipment battery equipment for the past this whole season well I started in August of last year and I've saved a lot guys from mixed fuel and I found that the only thing that I had to get used to was the sound you know what I mean I I am like you guys if, if, if it doesn't sound loud then I'm under the impression that it's not strong enough but that's not true um this thing I'm telling you I've, I've gotten so used to it that when I grab a gas powered stick uh, head trimmer, I mean head trimmer, um, trimmer, it, it just it, it, it feels different. And here I am just adjusting, making sure that you guys can see. It feels a little bit awkward. Now I will tell you this, um, we don't use these on commercial properties okay and the only reason is because again the battery um, don't last as long as, as you know tank of gas but hopefully eventually you know technology will uh, will advance So we clean off the uh, vines, you know, get a courtesy trim. You can see just now where I've turned the trimmer on the side so I can clean off the, uh, the side real nice. And right. right here, um, I'm not touching the plant beds, the raised beds. Um, again, it just, just because, you know, I, I don't know. Again, I can clean it out, but I, I, I'm not going to touch it until I'm back to do something with it. Here's another one. I know what you guys are going to say because, you know, I get it in every video. I don't know why you guys say that. The patio needs to be pressurized. The patio needs to be clean. I understand that, guys. 
I'm not a pressure washing guy. And I don't want to pressure wash. And I don't want to have a pressure washing business. <laughs> you guys are worth thinking about it. And then you go, um, man. You know, you, you had a pressure washing business. You make a lot of money. Yeah, pressure washing guys make a lot of money, but also keep in mind, you know, if the people don't want the service right now, I have buddies that pressure wash, and they make pretty good money. I usually give them uh, referrals, so yeah, enough about pressure washing. So here I'm just cleaning out the cracks. Usually uh, when I have time, I will, uh, I will go ahead and spray them. But on this particular day, I haven't I haven't done it yet. So, but I will eventually. I will. And we do it, guys. We do it as a uh, as a, as a courtesy, you know. You spray the cracks this way, you know. You come by and service the property, then you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> Now, for you guys that are curious as far as uh, the 520 high legs, this thing weighs six pounds. Yes, six pounds. And with, with the battery, you're looking at probably about eight pounds, eight or nine pounds. But mo most likely, it's probably about eight pounds. So now you see why I like it, right? <laughs> And let's clean up your little hump right here. You see where they put the fire hydrant? <laughs> In between both properties. I'm telling you, they just, you know, do things differently. <laughs> Detail, detail. It's all about the detail, guys. I could have easily just do this and walk away. But then you know what? It would have bothered me the whole day. That's just me. All right, so this is my Husqvarna blower, guys. And this blower, as of right now, I am getting 16 to 17 ohms of, of one charge. Okay, 16 to 17 houses off of one charge. And it's on boost right now. And you can use it at regular speed. But on boost, if I use boost the whole time, then you're looking at probably 10, 12 houses. You know. Now, would I use this for uh, leaf cleanup or something like that? No. No. And, that, and, and what, when I say. 15 to 16 homes, I'm talking about quarter of an acre houses, okay? Um, I haven't actually counted um, corner lots. But again, more to follow.
again, you have to kind of get used to the uh, the sound. <laughs> That's my whole thing, the sound. But I'm getting used to it though. And you blow up that patio. And you always make sure that that gate is closed, guys. You know, I usually pull on it once or twice. You may ask, why do I have two other blowers there? It's because this week I'm, I'm dedicating the whole week to uh, the battery blower. I haven't been using this blower, so this whole week I want to use it and just to see, you know, get comfortable with it and see if it can hold up. And then I give you guys a review, and then eventually I uh, just carry one gas-powered blower, uh, you know, just in case. And that's what I do. I have uh, one uh, gas string trimmer that I carry with me, um, which is a uh, steel 111RX. It's over here to your uh, to your left. So yeah, and you pick up your cones. Safety first, guys. Always be safe. And I left a pile of wet grass. And let's throw it back as fertilizer. There you go. Hey guys, if you like this type of videos, um, let me know in the comment. Um, give me a thumbs up. Consider uh, subscribing to the channel and uh, share the video, okay? Again, guys, if you see a service member out there, please let them know, thank you for their service, you know, let them know. Police officers, nurses, I mean, right now, man, everyone that's out there. And by the way, here's my new cooler. <laughs> yeah. My Fiji apple, my water. Fiji apples are the best, man. Try them. All right. Have a blessed one. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, guys. Be safe out there. See you on the next one. Pop smoke. <laughs>